my name is Kim Cullen, and I'm a personal injury attorney in Winter Park, Florida. As more and more people start to recognize the benefits of riding bicycles, both to their own health and to the environment, we are talking to more and more people in our office about bicycle accidents. And a lot of the bicycle accidents that we consult with people about have to do with bicycles versus cars, or nearly cars. So if you're on a bicycle and you've been hit by a car or nearly hit by a car, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video. Many people don't realize that if they're on a bicycle and they get involved in an accident with a car or nearly in an accident with a car, they may be entitled to use their car insurance benefits in order to compensate, to receive some compensation after an accident. So let me walk you through how this would work. As long as you own a car or live with someone who owns a car, if you're involved in a bicycle accident with a car or nearly with a car, then your medical expenses related to this bicycle accident can be paid by automobile insurance, by the Personal Injury Protection, or PIP, provision of a Florida car insurance uh, policy. So that gives you up to $10,000 in medical benefits as long as a, a car is somehow involved in the accident. In addition, if the person who hits you has liability insurance, then you may be entitled to recover money from them for the, their negligence and for the damages that they cause you. If you have uninsured motorist coverage or underinsured motorist coverage on your policy, or if you live in a household where a blood relative has it, then you may be entitled to recover uninsured motorist benefits. And this can frequently be helpful if you've been involved in a hit and run accident or a near accident, which happens sometimes. We had a client several years ago who was riding his bike down the sidewalk. He was near a gas station a car pulled off the road into the gas station driveway and didn't actually hit our client, barely missed him, but it caused our client to flip over the handlebars of his bike. He had to slam on the brakes and he ended up being pretty badly injured. Well, because it was an accident that involved a, a motor vehicle, even though these people drove away and didn't, didn't stay, stick around, and he didn't even know who they were, he was still able to make an uninsured motorist claim under his own car insurance. Now the one caveat to that is many automobile insurance policies, if it's a hit and run accident of any kind, including a bicycle, they require you to report it within 24 hours. So luckily our client had done that. He had picked up his phone. He had, he had an inkling that he would be entitled to car insurance. So he picked up the phone and he called the insurance company and luckily they recorded the claim and so there was no issue with that. We have had other instances where clients have not picked up the phone and called their car insurance companies and Later, the insurance company has denied the claim and then we end up being in a big fight with them about that. So that's important to know. We, we found over the years that many people don't understand this stuff. They don't realize that car insurance might be available to pay these particular benefits. So if you have any questions about a bicycle versus car accident or bicycle accident of any kind that's caused by somebody else, please call me or my law partner, Robert Hemphill at 407-254-4901. You can always text us at 407-644-4444 or you can even instant message us through the Facebook app.